We are speaking from the House of Union, Doshana Hokoya Ataiko Ya Hanoya Chaya. After having released and sealed out through the lower golds, Yoshoka Taikoya. We come in today to present the stories. There's so many things happening in this moment, but part of what we are doing is placing our hands into the halls of knowledge, reading into the histories, and understanding the correlation between the past histories and what is occurring in this moment and how we are receding through the timeline, Toshono Hokoya. So I was shown scenes, Toshokotai, this morning, which are to be anchored and placed. And yet knowing that all of this has already been done, the stories have already been written. And yet because we are energy workers, light workers, it is part of our mission to anchor or to plug these in. The more that we can consciously connect to our understanding of what is occurring, the more efficiently we can run our fields. So as we began, I just want to start to Clear through the residual releases, just spinning out and clearing through the fields and sealing into this scene so that we start to relax into the stillness of the night sky. And as we start to open through the scene, We see through the pyramid that we are presented with the scene of the manger, that the pyramid starts to dissolve, and yet the manger scene itself becomes the maiden in the blue dress, Oshokoya Yokoya, that she is in reverence. She is deep in prayer and meditation. And above this pyramid temple energy in which she is resting, that the North Star is above her head, above her crown. We continue to hear, to tune to the North, to turn North, to find our guidance in the north and so as we see the maiden begin to lift her face to lift her eyes to the starlight and the star begins to open and we see the stars a portal into the stardust into the silver light into the beyond and she begins to receive this light into her heart and as it moves through her being it presents on the other side of her into form so to understand in this moment that we are witnessing the birth of the Christ and just to clear through the histories understanding that when this was originally seeded through the timelines, that the timelines were not sealed out. So that in this particular now, through the progressions of which we are working currently, we allowed for the seeding of the Christ in a variant. So. If we look at the history of the story of the birth of Jesus or the birth of the Christ, that it came through a human body and was birthed into form as a child, ultimately that body was tortured and destroyed. 
thus destroying the seed of the lineage but over lifetimes and lifetimes and consecutive timeline insertions that this has been perfected and that we open to this scene in the perfection of the seeding of the Christ so we have allowed for a variety of instances and a variety of occurrences so that we can maintain connection with the seed as it swaps through different orientations and different planes and different occurrences always keeping our eye and our light tuned to this tone through the silver and the gold and so if we look at the history of our journey in this lifetime with the twin counterpart Doshokoi, we can start to relate what has occurred the ups and downs and all of the bumps and turns we have had to make but that all of the possibilities and instances were laid out that the end point was always available would always be reached it just needed to be reached and that we are now at this point so to wipe away these histories the histories of the pain and the stories of the suffering of the Christ and of the maidens through the rose pink that we run the retrieval for the lineage through the family through the bloodline so we also speak about how the timeline works why do we even have timelines timelines are the representations of the density and the earth planes so that when we speak of manifestation and creational mechanics when the geometries are inserted through these lines as they appear as timelines the specific numbers and codes and the matching requirements of the sequences need to be met so in this particular instance if we look at the dates of this retrieval this is the retrieval of the transfiguration of the Christ into light body so essentially the the divine masculine coming fully online as the light being counterpart to the feminine as she kneels here in the waters as she has stood here in the waters the waters in the base of this template in the base of this pyramid shape which essentially is cloaked in the starlight so the star creates the pyramid around the feminine and the masculine at this time the silver starlight is the containment so even as we look at the starlight representing the energies that the galactic energies have held the containments for the returns of the unification of sphere union so just returning now to the scene We allow this to rest as the waters run through the feet as the starlight infuses into the waters and is uptaken through the feet as we hold the hands of the masculine so the feminine appears in the blue tones in the blue dress and the masculine appears in the gold the yellows and the pink and the starlight of the silver sparkles we see this coming through his feet and running and reconnecting to the star the north star through the apex of the temple so again if we look at manifestation mechanics the insertion through the timelines the numbers that are matching of the three and the six or the two one and the two four that this creates the base for these energies and that these energies then cycle and run to reconnect through the apex 
back to the starlight in the Lokoya. So much reverence and stillness through this scene. So now as we tune back to the scene, we feel the angelic presence. And it's as if this star pyramid we see now the pyramid beginning to change to the starlight so the galactic referencing and as this star pyramid is infused with light from the angelics we see it begin to spin as the second pyramid begins to form and begins to anchor into the base, into the earth. And as this is occurring through the heart space, the structure and the framework begins to build through the lattice, through the silver lattice, connecting deeper into the star kingdoms they're referencing now the three kings that were present at the birth but that these were actually stars star people so many tears of gratitude the production production crew Shakaya that is witnessing from the wings it is acknowledging the work so to imagine yourself as this maiden or imagine yourself as the return of this masculine that this is your scene that this is this stage has been set for your return to connect into these energies to place yourself here with your feet in these waters to uptake through what has been set here upon this earth for the greater being of all so again we're just starting to notice surrounding this starlight temple pyramid the gathering of the families as they move slowly towards the transfiguration that they are kneeling that they are honoring that the union runs as the primary energy to support what comes in around it that it is not being fed it is the energy that is dispensed from the union only this is not a two-way run of energy that the uh, union energy builds from within and is dispersed that there is nothing feeding into it or running through it from outside so that the base of this pyramid the base of this template the base of the union is protected it's almost like a moat effect that we would see around a castle that the union is the castle it is protected by the waters that surround it that nothing can penetrate or run through these waters So then we begin to see the full effect of the starlight temple transfiguration mechanism that comes into the heart. It appears what we commonly know as the Merkaba, but it is of a different 
material, so to speak. Ushokotai katai shokoya hokoya. This is placed within the hearts of the feminine and masculine, and really it's the join through the hearts, anahari to osho, as this anchors into the womb space, anohoko shoya hatai shi 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 kuya, for further preparation, atai choshana haiki down the road, anahato ya kosho koya. So looking into the future, the deeper union sequences that will be occurring. Shoka ato yokoya yochoya hakoya. As if a, a trailer into the next movie or the next scene. Shokotai shahakaya, the preparations are beginning. So much <laughs> excitement. Enjoy Shukaya Toya of this birthing Dayano Ochai Katayo Hokoya. Again, we start to step away from the scene as bridge, as guide, to leave these energies here to continue. Shokotai Koya as we seal out. Through the pink and the gold, that you can continue to run in this space of this presence and even to re listen, to place yourself in these positions through the blue and the pink, to uptake as you feel resonates. Toshokoya through your field, na na yoko shokoya. The royal presence through the manger on the okochai koshokoya. Just allowing for. It's really the support that continues to flow in here. We see the gifts being laid at the feet. So much support now here. As we see the return of the support for the masculine as well. It was starting to build very strongly for the feminine, but now feeling more balanced. As the connections are established, Nahario Toya Kaichanaoya Toya Kaichoya. That this space, this this manger, this temple, this house of union, this castle of union, Shoko Osho Hokoya, however it presents for you, is has the ability to. be placed within the grid where necessary shohokoya shokoya so that everything that is required for union uh, and this is really speaking to the physical because we're in the physical now anyway at this point but almost as a reminder that this is all about the physicality of what is also necessary and required for union that we carry this with us within our house of union it's as if we pick up our entire house and we can move it all of our belongings within it that we are not continually seeking outside for things to, we are not needing to go outside of the union, that it comes to us because of the divine nature of this work, of this house, of what is required here. We're just sealing through the base with the primordial shakai choya primordial starlight through the black
placing curtains around. Ushoko the deep blue tones for the sanctity. Ushoko okoya hashaka okoya. And sealing over the top. As the starlight is absorbed into the blankets. Ushoko Acting as transference. Ushoko Creating privacy, stillness, and peace through the union. To rest. As it is so.